everybody. This is Marijn for Kutch Amplification in the Netherlands. Uh, I am here today in our workshop and as a part of the R&D team, I am happy to show you a little bit more about uh, uh, some of the items that, have, that we have released over the last year. And I thought it would be a cool idea to make a multiple amp setup uh, because combining uh, a bunch of amps is a lot of fun and also because it's a great opportunity for me to show you a little bit more out-of-the-box ideas uh, as well as our versatility uh, of the amps that we're building. Now the Jupiter head is our latest addition to the Jupiter range and it's a 45 watt head and it's exactly the same amp as the Jupiter combo. So it's a two channel amp with a boost function for the second channel and the reverb. And uh, of course it's a hybrid amplifier and we've been working with this technique the last four years now. So what we do is we're combining uh, the best of tube sound with some of the practical uh, advantages we see with solid state amplification such as the durability. Uh, we are able to produce light weighted amps and they're also cost efficient. And to make one thing clear, it was never our intention to make a cheap or a budget amp, but it simply uh, cuts out some of the uh, components that are essential to a tube amp, such as power tubes and the power transformer. And because we don't need any of those components, we can build a cheaper amp. Uh, the rest of all the components that we're using and also the way that we're bu building these amps is exactly the same as our full tube amps. So let's check out how it sounds real quick. All right, so I'm going to run through uh, the channels of this amp right now, and we're just uh, listening to this stack here in the middle. All right, it's clean. So one more advantage of the, the Jupiter and the, the, the hybrid amps in general is that you don't actually need to, to load the, the speaker output. So you can use the, the head standalone without a speaker cabinet and basically use the, the recording output to feed it directly into a recording interface and record at home in silence while the, the head is simply sitting on your desktop. Right, so moving on in our um, signal flow into the next unit of our three-way system is the load box. And of course, the load box is uh, designed as a power soak to, to soak up the volume of a cranked up uh, tube amplifier. The way I'm using it right now, it is hooked up between the, the Jupiter head and the 212 cabinet. And the way I'm using it right now is on the 100% output, so I'm not soaking the amp at all. Uh, and also the load box does not affect the signal right now. The reason why I'm using it this way is because I want to derive a direct signal coming from the Jupiter head into the, the wet stereo system. So uh, the line output is running straight into my pedal board and I'm using my pedal board in the first place to spice things up a little bit with the effects but also because I'm making a stereo AB split using an AB box at the end of my pedal board to feed a stereo signal into the 
stereo power amp, which is the ATR. So I'm feeding the ATR power amp with uh, two signals coming from my pedal board. So I'm using it stereo at this moment. Uh, but of course, it's, you can also use the, the power amp mono. Now, we've designed the ATR uh, in mind to use as a power amp for our own preamp pedals. Uh, but of course, we see a growing demand for power amps which are lightweighted and small for those of you who are using camper amplifiers or fractal audio amplifiers. Now, um, I'm driving these two cabinets. Those are new as well. They, these are the, the KCC 1x12 ported cabinets. And uh, they just sound amazing. So I'm really happy to show them to you today. And uh, let's listen to what happens when we blend in the stereo affected signal with the, the mono dry signal. All right. <laughs> Uh, blend in uh, both sides one at a time so you can actually hear what happens and also I'll um, uh, switch on to some effects and switch through the channels as well all right <laughs> A setup like this is really fun because of what you can do with uh, with with effects, because you get a really nice stereo image of uh, effects like a phaser or a pitch shift or whatever. So I'm just going to play around a little bit with uh, some of the uh, the pedals on my on my pedal board. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've just uh, seen a genuine three-way wet-dry wet system, which is simply really fun to play with. And I hope uh, you guys uh, understand some of the, the cool features that our uh, products uh, give you. Um, just for fun, I wanted to show you guys uh, another setup with uh, multiple amps. Uh, a little bit different this time, because what I'm doing is I'm simply plugged in with my guitar straight into my pedal board and then make a split from my pedal board into the two different amps. Now, of course, this is a clear setup. It's an amp with a cap. And what I'm doing with the two 1x12 caps is I'm, um, I'm driving it right now with our uh, new preamp. Well, I'm actually driving the stereo power amp, of course. And I'm using it now in a mono mode, not in stereo. Uh, and in this way, I can blend two different amplifiers together to get you know, the different colors of the preamps mixed in together. But also, uh, what I do in a live situation is I can switch one amp uh, on or off, or basically switch between two amps or um, use them both at the same time to uh, just add a lot of fatness in the sound. So it's, it's just a really cool way of playing live and to give you that, that thrill that you, you know, that a guitar player is always looking for in live sound. So let's check this out as well. All right, um, so uh, I can demonstrate you now uh, exactly what I've set up here. So I can switch between uh, the first amp and the second amp and also uh, use them simu simultaneously so you can hear what happens. So this is actually the sound of the, the uh, 63 OD preamp running into the stereo ATR and it sounds like this. <laughs> And this would be uh, just the Jupiter 45 head with the 212 uh, speaker cap. And both of them together would be this. Thanks everybody for watching and for listening. For more information, uh, of course, check out our website koch-amps.com or look us up on Facebook. And of course, don't forget to like us. Thanks guys, bye.